relationships, but you're wrong. You love being in love, right? So mm -hmm. I'm, I have that sort of same feeling. Like I do love the goofy stuff that comes with love. What's the goofiest shit you ever did? Like in the name of love that you can recall. <laughs> I see the smile okay. on your face. Well, one time I was in love with this girl, but it hadn't moved to like a thing yet. I didn't know how she felt about me. I just knew I fucking loved her. She was Ethiopian. They, they have this very specific kind of beauty that I'm really into. Big and answers, it's very sharp. It's yeah. Very yeah. Dark. Be, yeah. Yeah. And uh, they're, point, they're mad pointy. Their face is pointy. You know what she, I mean? It, it point. She have a, they have a round face and a long neck. It's, yeah. it's a very like Eastern African thing. So I'm in love with this girl, right? We, we had oh. met maybe a couple weeks before. We hadn't even been on a first date yet. And we were going to go on a first date. And she hit me up the day of the date to tell me that the night before she lost her phone and she's Facebook messaging me on her computer. And she's like, my phone is lost. I'm sorry. I have to cancel today. Blah, blah. And I was like, all right, well, uh, let me try to call and figure stuff out. See if I can help with that. I fucking called nonstop for like the next three hours until I found the dude and I went and met him in Soho. She lost the phone in a cab. And that dude had the phone. Uh, like, I could be risking some shit. I don't know who the fuck <laughs> that dude was. But I met with him and he gave me the phone. And I felt like a motherfucking hero. And I hit up the girl on Facebook. We got together. I gave her the phone. But me in my dumb, young lover brain, I thought <laughs> that was going to be what the sealed. thing. Yeah. Yeah. But. We still didn't become a watch thing. Movies, man. Yeah. <laughs> now you know, you know what's crazy. That here's a here's a principle that I've learned throughout years is you don't build love by what you give. It's what it's by what people give you. People fall in love with you because you you ask them for things and you have them do things for you because you give them purpose in their life. Whether you realize it or not, you gotta like, expound I, on that a little bit because it, it, you could somebody could take that and yeah, go. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm with you yo, there. Yeah, yo, talk bitch, about get it, me a glass it's, of water. It's a deep way of thinking. Let's hear. Go it. get me some shit. Go get my shoes. It's not so, gonna make me fall in love with you. Well, but the thing is this: like, I had, I had a, I had a girl who would like my. my I'm older, so the hair in my ears start growing, and so she would like. Then, oh my god! Look at you. It's like oh my god, you're a mess. I. If I don't do this, I, I, how's it ever going to get done? Like, I got to keep your ears clean. Like, I, I, and she would, like, if I shaved them myself, she, you could see disappointment in her because of the fact that. You it, took it away from her. That became her thing for, to do for you. Okay, I feel you. But it's in any way, it's, if you think about um, a person that you're doing things for, if you're trying to save somebody, you're trying to just think about how much more in love you were with her going through this process, meeting up with this guy, calling her up on Facebook, and that excitement you feel, it's like, you know, like, of course you're expecting a specific response, but the point is not getting that response even makes you want to do more. So yeah, it, it, yeah. it compounds your, the intensity of your, your crush because you're doing for her. And, it, and then because you're doing for her, it's almost like you're turning her off because you're too available. Yes, that's exactly what it was. I was because when someone loves you or likes you, mm -hmm. they like you as you are. Like, I, I don't think attraction is a choice that can be moved by like action, like me getting the phone was never going to get her to like me if she didn't like me in the first place. Well, but the thing is, you didn't like you. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're, 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 you're chasing something that you don't really think you're valuable enough to have. That's why you're chasing it. The intention, okay. you wouldn't chase it if it wasn't running from you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. So, it, so the only things that run from you is the things that you desire, not the thing that's running away from you because it doesn't desire you. Yeah. So, so the dynamic of that intensifies the attraction on a different level because you're, somebody's always just out of reach. And then being out of, out of reach kind of, so now it becomes not just the attraction that you had, the energy that you put in it, but it's also psychological about the thing. It becomes more about 
this thing beating me. This thing just, you know, like a mouse, you just, your string on a cat, you just keep it out of range. And what, what really is happening is your energy of all that you're giving is pushing her away. So you're trying to reach and you're pushing her away and, and with the wind of, of you reaching out. So if you think That's about- That's a really good way to look at it. I agree. I yeah, agree. If, if you think about how that affected you, you can also, the, 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 like everything, had, if you flip it to the other side, is what was her response to that? Because if the shoe was on the other foot, your response would be the same. If she was overly, uh, overly aggressive and overly accessible and uh, it didn't matter whether you there, wasn't there, and he, I want you, here's your phone, and I, blah, 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 look what I did for you. Blah, 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 it, it, none of that is attractive because yes. what, what are you really what? Is saying is you're better than me. And that's a pattern that I've recognized in my life, and I'm growing away from that. The pattern really is I want a lot of people who don't want me, and then there's a bunch of people who want me, and I don't give a fuck about them. Right. You think that's true? And it's a connected? really unhealthy way to look to like live and try to process love and stuff. But do you know why that is? It's just a human thing. The, 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 the thing that you, the, the thing that's elusive to you is always the thing that you want. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you may have a specific attraction or stuff, that, but an attraction is just a variable. It's not all the variables. You know, yeah. there's people that you, you know, look, if you got, if you're marrying, if you're getting ready to date a Victoria's Secrets model, right? The chick from Brazil and you, and you, uh, and 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 she ends up sucking your dad's dick. It doesn't matter how pretty she is, you know, because it's it's so it's not conditional. You know what I mean? She yeah. looks really ugly if she's blowing your dad. If you know that right. she's your right. dad. You man, school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.